All right. Now, how to meditate is again the problem. If I say you have to go inside to meditate, you say how to go inside. Now, we have to understand, God Almighty has made us very beautiful. We never ask a question once, why has he made us a human being? Why did we go through the complete process of evolution to become a human being? Now, we have become a human being, but why? Why are we human beings? And if human beings are the epitome of evolution, then why there are problems? Why we are not integrated? So we have to jump a little higher stage, a little higher awareness by which we start understanding the absolute nature. Just now we are living on absolutely relative world, terminology. Everything is relative. You don't know whether this is good or bad, whether this should be done or not. But for a self-realized person, there is no doubt because he knows that his spirit is emitting those vibrations which are all the time flowing and if he tries to do something wrong, they immediately stop. So like a computer, he gets attached or you can say united with the divine and then the computer starts working and informing that this is not right and that is not right. It's a very wonderful computer that God has created. We are one of the most exceptional type of computers. We have computers in the world that human beings have created. It has to go through the thinking power and then come to something and the thinking is also fed into it by another thinking one who has thought from a very limited energy. But we do not think and we see. I see you without thinking. I can see you without thinking. As soon as I see you, I, I know who you are. But for a computer, it has to go through the process of uh, finding out who the person is. Now, there's a big challenge now facing us that people are taking to artificial methods in every field of life because they have not been able to go higher than what they are because they have missed their ascent, they are taking to all kinds of artificial. First of all, they are taking to artificial things like computers. Now, these computers could be very dangerous because the matter is all the time trying to overpower the spell. When you are creating a machine, you don't know how much you are going in the clutches of the machine. That the machine one day, if you do not allow and assert your freedom and a proportionate understanding of the powers of machine also, you might just be finished completely. You can see that these computers now can speak, can take over. Supposing something goes wrong with the computer, it can start devouring the whole world. How can you stop it? Because it's a machine. It's, a, it's the matter which, is, which doesn't understand. It is innocent. It doesn't understand whether it is constructing or destroying. So this is a very dangerous point where we have arrived. In every field, we are doing such dangerous things. 